We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you with another message that will bless you and take you to a greater glory and a greater level. I tell you, my dear friend, in this season more than ever, it is essential that we hold on to the Word of God and that we take it seriously. And in this season, one of the requirements to make it far will be meditating on the Word of God so much so that it goes in and it begins to produce fruit. It is so essential that we as born-again believers have the Word of God in us, coming out from our mouth, moving and affecting our thoughts, and helping us to make the right decisions. The Word of God is a sword, a double-edged sword. It brings protection. It brings guidance. It brings light onto our path. It is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. It is absolutely essential if we want to make progress and go far that we take the Word of God seriously and we meditate on it day and night. Now let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit wherever you are lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this with me say Holy Spirit of God I welcome you come Lord Holy Spirit bless me today and help me from this day onwards to take your word seriously. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now, I want to start by reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, from verse 63. It says, It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Now, let's read that once again and let's break it down. It is the Spirit that quickeneth. So as you walk in the Spirit, you begin to make progress. Things begin to happen. Things begin to move. Where there's stagnation, stagnation is broken. Where you feel as though your life is not moving, as you walk in the Spirit, your life will begin to move. Now it goes on and says, The flesh profiteth nothing. As a born-again believer, walking in the carnal nature, satisfying the carnal nature, profiteth nothing. It doesn't bring about power that brings change. It doesn't bring about miracles, signs and wonders. It doesn't bring about the change that we desire. It doesn't bring about the answer to our prayers. It profiteth nothing. It goes on and says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So now he takes it further and he says, the words that I speak unto you. So the Word of God is spirit and it's life. Now, as you take the Word of God in, as you meditate on the Word of God, as you put the Word of God into practice, as you take it in, you are taking in spirit, you are taking in life. Your life will begin to move. Progress will begin to come. Things that you're praying for will begin to happen. Miracles, signs and wonders will happen. Your life will begin to move. The breakthrough that you so earnestly desire will begin to come. You'll begin to make progress in your spiritual walk with God. You'll begin to make progress in your spiritual walk. You will begin to go forward. So it's absolutely essential that we take the Word of God in. Now, I want to read from the book of Psalms chapter 1 from verse 1 to verse 3. And this is one of my favorite passages in the Psalms. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Now, this is such a powerful promise, but note it is connected to the Word of God. It is linked to the Word of God. I'll read this once again. It says, Blessed is the man, and we can add there, or woman, 
that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So to walk in the counsel of the ungodly is following the carnal nature. But it says, Blessed is the man, and we can add there, or woman, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Now it goes on and says, Nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Set your delight in the word of God. Read the word of God. Understand and know every time you read the word of God, your life begins to move. Things begin to happen. Divine inspiration from God concerning which way you must go is given to you. The Holy Spirit of God begins to speak to you. Things begin to happen. Wherever there's stagnation in your life, it begins to move. From this point onwards, when you read the Word of God going forward, I want to encourage you. As you read it, understand and know that as you read it, it's also bringing about the change that you desire to see. So it goes on and says, And he shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in season. Now, note a tree that is planted close to a supply of water will always be fed all year round. It will have the supply of nutrients and water all year round. But a tree that is not planted next to streams of water goes through times and periods that it doesn't have the supply it needs. And if it goes long enough without those life-giving commodities, it will ultimately wither and die. So we need the word of God. We need more of God. It goes on and says that bringeth forth his fruit in season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So even from this point onwards, understand and know, as you take the word of God, as you meditate on it, as you read the word, as you take it in, as you listen to it, it is connected to your breakthrough. It is connected to your progress. It is connected to your deliverance. It is absolutely essential that we take the Word of God seriously. I encourage you from today onwards, take the Word of God seriously. Meditate on the Word day and night and you shall be blessed. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by thanking and praising God and as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray, and I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, I thank you. Thank you for another day that you've given us, a wonderful day. To pray, to seek you, to press in, to receive from you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. You alone are holy. You alone are worthy. You alone deserve the honor and the praise, even today. Be lifted high. Be glorified in our lives. Be magnified. Be glorified in my dear friend's life who's watching this video. Be lifted high. You alone are worthy. You alone are holy. You alone deserve the glory. You alone deserve the honor. Be glorified and be magnified in our lives. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for your word. That is spirit and it's life. And it brings progress in our lives even as we take it in. It brings growth. It brings the difference that we need to see. Thank you for your word. I thank you and I give you praise even as you give us the grace to get more of your word in us, to seek to have more of your word in us. I thank you that as your word goes in, it produces fruit. It brings about the change that we desire to see. And my dear friend's life who's watching this video will never be the same again, even as we seek you. We give you praise and we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know, I trust, I believe God is going to bless you even as we pray. Now, as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you, comment in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Give my dear friend the grace to read your word, to take it in, and to take it seriously. As my dear friend meditates on your word, day and night, give my dear friend grace and breakthrough 
tremendous breakthrough and bring change in my dear friend's life where change is needed. Bring progress and life wherever there's any stagnation and things are not working out. Break that stagnation and bring movement, progress. Bring much fruit in my dear friend's life. I thank you that you never leave us helpless, you never leave us alone, and your grace is sufficient. Your grace is truly sufficient. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My dear friend, you are blessed and you cannot be cursed. Go up and prosper and make much progress. Read the word of God and it will produce life and progress in your life. God bless you, my dear friend. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, until next time, shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.